Units of Concentration Part 3 in a series of videos about the different way of expressing units of concentration. An aqueous solution of C2H5OH has a molality of 0.3 moles per kilogram. The density of this solution is 0.982 grams per milliliter. Calculate the molarity, the mass percentage, and the mole fraction of C2H5OH in this solution. Before we start, here is a reminder of the definitions of all the different ways of expressing concentration. They will be placed at the bottom and we will fill in the holes as we go. Molality is defined as the quantity of moles of solutes divided by the mass of the solvent in kilograms. For this kind of question, pick a certain quantity as a base for all your calculations and don't change it for the rest of the question. To simplify the question, we will assume that we have one kilogram of solvent. You can actually assume any quantity that you want, and the final answers will end up being the same because they all have the same ratios. With one kilogram of solvent in a solution of molality 0.3 moles per kilogram, that means we have 0.3 moles of solute. Let's put the 0.3 moles of solute into the molarity and mole fraction equations. Now that we know how many moles of C2H5OH we have, we can multiply this value by its molar mass to determine the quantity in grams. To calculate the molar mass, add the mass of all the atoms in the compound. The mass of the solute will be inserted into the mass percentage equation. One kilogram of water is equal to a thousand grams. We can divide the mass of water by its molar mass to solve for the number of moles of water in the solution. By adding the number of moles of water and solute, we get the total number of moles in the solution. This value can be put into the mole fraction equation. We can also add the mass of water in the solute to find the total mass of the solution. This can be put into the mass percentage equation. Finally, we divide the total mass of the solution by the density that was given in the question, and we obtain the total volume of the solution. A common error is taking the 1000 grams of water like the total mass of the solution and multiplying this directly by the density. 1000 grams is only the mass of the solvent. The total mass must include the mass of the solute as well. The density is in grams per milliliters, so our answer is also in milliliters. By converting it to liters, we can insert the volume of the solution into the molarity equation. Now we need to calculate the final concentrations. We can say that the one kilogram that we assumed at the start had an infinite number of significant digits. The calculated molar masses were precise to four digits, and the data in the question was precise to three digits. So we round our answer to three significant digits. The molarity is 0.291 moles per liter, which can also be expressed as a capital M. The mass percentage is 1.36%, and the mole fraction is 0.00538, which doesn't have any units because they all get cancelled out.